good morning everyone in the last uh, previous week's episode we have looked at what kind of family situations uh, can be benefited from this family counseling sessions and uh, in what kind of family situations counseling may not be of much benefit so this is what we have discussed those who have followed the previous week session uh, they can find the present session much more uh, connected so those who have not followed kindly look into the previous session previous week session um, so here today we'll uh, look into mainly uh, a brief summary of the previous session just to bring in the connection and then we will move on with uh, two areas of concern what happens in these family counseling just to have uh, to just give you a glimpse of uh, what what can uh, be the process and what happens uh, in the family session and uh, we'll also look into what kind of expectations you can come with to make it much more realistic uh, for you to approach family counseling, what kind of expectations you can come up with. These are the two concerns we will address in today's session. So let me briefly look into what we have done in the previous session, just to bring in the connection for the present uh, session. So in the previous session, we have looked into uh, the kind of family situations where uh, family counseling can be of helpful. Usually family counseling is uh, considered when more than one member of a family unit is uh, kind of involved into the counseling sessions. We call it family session. It can be a marital couple or it can be parents with children or it can be the extended other family members included sometimes. And we have also run through the different kinds of family situations that can be of benefit like uh, when um, there are issues related to communication there are issues related to human interactions uh, between the family members and uh, when there are adolescent issues or when children below 10 year old coming with uh, disciplinary issues academic issues so various kind of issues that we have looked at as uh, indications for family therapy and we have also covered very briefly as to uh, generally it is a long-term kind of a therapy which requires and varies based on uh, the kind of uh, background the families come with varying from two months to four to five months and then uh, follow-ups usually weekly one sessions of uh, one and a half to two hours duration and some families might require uh, more frequently uh, maybe two sittings in a week so depending on the kind of uh, um, uh, decision that is taken during the counseling sessions and the availability of family members so these sessions are planned and then um, looking at what happens in counseling sessions so let us look at that now. Here, uh, what happens in counseling, the family therapist quickly moves into the living space of the family, approached them for counseling and then uh, the family withdraw, uh, I mean, pulls uh, the therapist into their whirlpool of anxiety ridden uh, kind of situations. And then um, uh, mainly the therapist using their uh, empathy and uh, kind of understanding, uh, you know, into the situations, uh, looking at each family members way of uh, putting across what they choose to talk, what they avoid talking. Um, there are silences in the family and then uh, there are uh, uh, 
a kind of um, generally the family comes with uh, a kind of uh, a pent up uh, kind of uh, panicky sometimes pent up kind of anxieties uh, and then uh, the underlying currents of anxiety has to be quickly sensed the emotional climate of the family members is quickly sensed by the trained family therapist and then uh, the calm reassurance of bringing in these uh, underlying conflicts into much more from the uh, to the surface of an interactional level is is where uh, the family therapist uh, is um, working towards and then the kind of language uh, uh, there is a quick note by the family therapist with the kind of language that the family members choose to uh, kind of uh, use uh, and then what they don't want to talk about it and um, it's it's very important that the understanding or empathetic kind of uh, environment provided in the session Uh, makes them feel at ease and then um, uh, not being judgmental by the therapist is uh, also providing a kind of uh, uh, open kind of uh, family environment for the family members to speak about their conflicts and anxieties so here um, you know, generally the family uh, comes with uh, a kind of uh, uh issues where uh, they are aware that there is something very uh, deeply wrong or something is not going well but how and why and how and what and what to do with that is where they are stuck with uh, here uh, the the kind of uh, hope that a family therapist gives by being non judgmental and providing that kind of uh, empathetic understanding uh, makes the family members connect with the therapist quickly and uh, connecting with each other as a as a kind of uh, progressive process so here uh, um the kind of space that is provided and then uh, usually the information that comes out uh, from each family member is uh, kind of uh, put together into a bigger picture so what one family member chooses to uh, kind of hide the other family member blurts it out what the parents tries to hide the child must have been uh, trying to blurt it out so here the access into the family communication uh, does not happen with one session each time when the family session happens there is a kind of selective access to the um, information uh, regarding the various uh, underlying uh, uh, conflicts between the family members so the hope that is uh, kind of uh, with which the family members come with is been nourished by uh, the family therapist by being a calm and uh, understanding person and being able to uh, give them that assurance that uh, that it is uh, something that can be looked into and then uh, a workable kind of uh, solutions can be uh, uh, you know brought in so here the family therapy situations are mainly a kind of reality testing for the families and then um, they try to uh, open up at a at a very kind of uh, as the environment moves on Uh, generally the number of as the number of sessions move on there is a kind of mounted uh, uh, kind of stress built up and then a a kind of feeling of loss of control might be felt by the family members which is uh, kind of taken care by the calm presence of the therapist and uh, understanding environment provided in the family sessions so as the family therapy as the counseling sh- sessions pro- proceeds 
uh, the underlying uh, kind of anxieties and conflicts are brought to the surface to the interactional level to the communication level and then um, slowly step by step uh, the kind of defenses that are being um, covering the relationships are being uh, stripped out so a word on what these defenses are we uh, spoke i spoke very briefly about these defense mechanisms and the role that are played by these defense mechanisms uh, when we have dealt with the personality uh, problems pro personality disorders so defenses are a kind of uh, protective mechanisms used by all of us in order to uh, protect ourselves from the hurt or the pain that is caused by the uh, due, because of the uh, interactional difficulties or relational strains so these protective or defense mechanisms help in order to soothe and this hurt so in a family situation where there is a strain or underlying uh, emotional uh, conflicts uh, these are the defenses act as protective mechanisms there can be defenses like um, uh, trying to uh, project projecting uh, uh, the situation as uh, uh, you know as something that is not a kind of situation where uh, uh, the projection is one kind of defense mechanism here the unwanted feelings are projected onto something much more safe kind of a environment and uh, there is an acting guy acting out kind of defense mechanism where uh, um, in order to kind of um, let out their uh, anxieties they might try to show it in a much more aggressive kind of uh, expressions or there can be a kind of regressive kind of defense uh, defenses used here uh, uh, regression uh, into more uh, uh, a immature kind of behavior going back to a kind of childhood kind of behaviors and uh, a lot of uh, defense mechanisms that are used as a way of protecting uh, uh, their anxieties and conflicts here in family sessions these defense mechanisms are being uh, um, uh, the more one depends on these defense mechanisms uh, there 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 is uh, a kind of uh, lack of trust and then there can be a dishonest kind of uh, uh, relational pattern so uh, too much use of the defense mechanisms is something that is uh, worked out in the family sessions where uh, these defenses are are slowly uh, replaced by trust slowly replaced by uh, bringing in the uh, possibilities of able to resolve the conflicts in a much more um, constructive way uh, and then uh, it is more like a protective mask that these defense mechanisms are being used so the protective mask will uh, kind of uh, it will uh, stop the emotional conflicts coming into the surface and working through these conflicting situations so the defense mechanisms are uh, one important area where in the family sessions uh, the family therapist takes care by being more firm and by being uh, using different kind of uh, skills such as um, confrontation is one kind of skill where uh, uh, these defenses are taken care the conflicting situations are been uh, uh, surfaced and then uh, give the family members a kind of safe kind of environment interpretation is another kind of uh, uh, skill that is used where uh, the family therapist uh tries to move back from the uh you know family uh, kind of emotional environment uh, try to look at uh, the experience provided by the family members in much more objective light 
and try to put these uh, pieces into a bigger picture and then uh, help the family members to actually become much more aware of how uh, whether it is uh, communication issues or whether it is trying to use uh, too much of defense mechanisms, how all these are actually uh, interrupting their uh, emotional connections and their, their being honest with each other. So all these uh, uh, strong emotional forces that are uh, aroused in the family sessions need to be controlled and then uh, it, it uh, um, uh, helps in order to it helps the family to understand that it's all right to feel these kind of emotions because the family might come with a panic kind of situation or they might come with uh, some kind of a disastrous kind of situation generally as long as the balance uh, in the role relationships is maintained Usually there, uh, there is no uh, urgent need or a referral made for a family counseling. When this delicate balance is being uh, uh, kind of disturbed, that's when the family members are uh, into the family session. And usually one family member is projected as a sick person while um, as we move on with the family sessions, it is usually more than one member or sometimes it is a whole family that has these interactional or faulty ways of, uh, uh, you know, adjustments that are being affecting the family functioning in much more healthy way. So here the, the main uh, 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 care is taken in the family counseling sessions as to how to bring out uh, the, the uh, sickness or the problematic conflicting areas and then uh, how to support the healthy aspects. The family does not come with only all the problems. They also have the strengths uh, that are being uh, forgotten in the process of these uh, dysfunctions. So the strengths of the family are being supported and then uh, they are brought into light all these uh, uh, observations are being made by the family therapist in a family uh, counseling situation. So this is what usually happens in a family counseling. And uh, uh, the, the presence the, of the family therapist who is well-trained and who can kind of handle these strong emotions without uh, uh, getting carried away by the anxieties or conflicts um, brought in by the family members is a very important tool. Now, looking at what can be expected in a family counseling. Mainly here, the, um, uh, the counselor plays the role of a controller of danger, mainly a kind of uh, parental figure uh, trying to look into the uh, emotional conflicts and try to bring in that comfort of uh, sharing by family members and this happens uh, in stages. Uh, the family needs to develop the trust and uh, the rapport that is being established by the therapist over the sessions and the trusting relationship um, that is very important here for the family to kind of uh, uh, feel confident in order to let out their uh, uh, information uh, mainly of uh, covered by these defense mechanisms. So here the mainly the role here of the family therapist is mainly a parental figure who is much more an understanding kind of uh, providing an understanding kind of uh, environment tries to bring in uh, uh, 
uh, the conflicting kind of issues into much more interaction and communication levels. So the kind of uh, uh, communication that happens within the family members uh, is being uh, objectively observed and uh, uh, the way the needs are communicated, who is expecting what from whom is something that is made an active notice by the family therapist. So here, uh, the relation that is established, the rapport that is established by the family therapist with the family members is uh, is a major instrument in order to bring the uh, kind of uh, innermost uh, uh, unexpressed feelings. Sometimes the family members uh, were worried about uh, uh, the, especially in overprotected kind of family situation that we have discussed in the earlier sessions, where the family members are worried about uh, 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 the kind of, uh, you know, uh, letting out or the kind of uh, expression that might, the, the worries of that, it might hurt the uh, other person more from a, a kind of dysfunctional level are being uh, facilitated and then uh, they are um, they are provided a kind of calm and um, much more uh, 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 environment, calm and comfortable environment for them to uh, openly talk about these issues uh, Yes, there will be hurt, there will be tension mounted in the family sessions, but at the same time, once you are able to express your negative emotions, uh, the, the kind of movement towards resolutions or the kind of compromises that um, uh, each family member need to make is being uh, easier when once you are able to express these uh, underlying unexpressed conflicts. So here mainly with the use of acceptance and calm understanding uh, the parental role that is played by the family therapist and also the controller of danger where um, protecting the family from uh, becoming uh, much more dysfunctional. Uh, generally one uh, family member being projected a as a sick person, but then uh, it is also made much more uh, uh, open and uh, brought to the surface that how the kind of interactions between the other significant family members is also maintaining and contributing the unhealthy kind of symptoms in the uh, presenting client. So here mainly the role of a uh, controller of danger, mainly a parental kind of uh, uh, a protective kind of uh, role that is played by the family therapist is what makes the family much more open and much more willing to uh, share their uh, conflicting kind of uh, uh, information. So this is what I wanted to discuss in today's session. Hope I could make some sense or bring you uh, to uh, understand that uh, some idea as to what you can expect and what happens in the family counseling sessions. So take care. I'll um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll look at uh, uh, some of the kind of um, resistances when there is resistance from uh, some of the family members or one family member to cooperate, how to handle these resistances. Uh, these kind of issues we can discuss in coming week. Thank you all. Happy weekend.